Hi, welcome into the Edit Booth. Today we have for you Ken Nordine. Now he's best known as the man behind Word Jazz, which has aired for decades on public radio stations all over the nation. Word Jazz got its start in Chicago in Highland Park, but over the years Ken Nordine has gone on to perform live with the likes of performance artist Laurie Anderson, more recently David Bowie, and as you'll hear in this piece, he also performed of course with Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead, Tom Waits, and many others. In addition to that work, Ken Nordine got his start and established his reputation as one of the finest voiceover artists ever to work in the history of broadcasting and commercial and radio television production. In this segment, he'll take us inside his studio, which is on the third floor of his house on the far north side of Chicago. We had a chance to catch up with him because he recently celebrated a milestone birthday. Ken Nordine turned 90. He's as busy as ever. He's working creatively around the clock, even today, working with visual media as well, still creating that infamous word jazz. So take a look, Ken Nordine in the edit booth. And what's in here? Here's the, uh, the control room for the studio where we have now, the amazing thing. This was, was in its day the highest form of the art. This is a wonderful console. We have 24 track, 16 track. Now the, the whole thing has in, in essence been replaced with a couple of computers. That's, you can't fight progress. <laughs> Many recordings were done here. A lot of them are very, very talented people. Tom Waits was here. Uh, Jerry Garcia played here. They'd say, what, do, what are we going to do? And I said, well, you get something going, get a groove going. And uh, you'll know, and I'll know when you know, when it's happening. Then I'll jump on top of it, and we'll go from there. I don't know about you, but me, I love a groove. In fact, we did that out in, at uh, in San Rafael in the Grateful Dead Studios out there with uh, Dan Healy on the knobs. Uh, see, he was there, Howard Levy went out with me. We did the whole album in uh, one day. No Just re that way. No retakes. I got along very well with uh, Jerry. So what would a typical session up here be like as you were creating a particular piece for word jazz. Well, I'd be in that little booth there. You see it? Yeah, right through the glass. Yeah, that little booth with the microphone and, and earphones so I could hear what's happening here and I could uh, talk to the control room. I could see what they were doing and I would tell the musicians, well, let's say I was going to talk Dear about God, spiders. Oh, spiders. I'd uh, this tell them I want prayer. the, the um, spidery heaven piano player to give the effect. Well, of course, he was using gravity. synthesized so sound too. Fall, the effect of the spider moving. If you and someone else could be the net. Bottle fly. Someone else could be um, the fly. Uh, mm. And so we'd, we'd create on an, in an abstract free like form fancy. whatever they the, thought of. The flavor and, uh, is hot. They could hear what I was doing, but not so quite as it was a rapport situation. It was, in a sense, into word jazz, where the structure with comes from the basis of what you're thinking about. Go Dracula star and quick, eat up tasty, lost nads in the dark. It began because I memorized a lot of poetry. I memorized the Rubaiyat, the whole thing. I, um, I, I memorized a lot of work by T.S. Eliot. And I'd, I'd go to a little joint when Johnny Frigo was still alive, and he played with uh, Richard Marx, uh, Dick Marx, Richard Marx's father, who's also gone. And I would sit in and, and recite poems to their playing. It was piano and bass. It was fine, except the same people came every week, so I couldn't recite the same poem over and over again. So I'd make something up, you know. I have a few pops, and I'd hey, I can do something in that. That's how down the drain it begins. Came. When you slide down the drain, somehow you make your way through the plumbing miraculously, through the twists and the turns, and you come out in the Caribbean doing the backstroke beautifully toward the Virgin Islands, and you come ashore like a canoe. This is yesterday, if it ever was. This has all the 
things I did during my career. Here are things that were done in London for the Royal Festival Hall I did with Laurie Anderson. And these are all old ad campaigns that you did voiceover work yep, for? Yep, a lot of those. There's the metropolitan structures. Music. Come on, old trademark. Time for your walk. Where will you take me? Sure wish you could talk. I know what you tell me. How your family began with the same Levi's blue jeans worn by this man. It's new software. Yeah. It's new hardware. Hey. It's the next generation of the most successful video tool of all time. A whole new video toaster. It'll be the end of blah, blah, blah television. <laughs> the Video Toaster 4000. It's very difficult to uh, illustrate thought. You know, you, you, I, you take a word like ebullient, which is a lovely word. The, the, uh, it means crazy happy. Well, how do you describe that visually? So I, I, I get together something in here, and I, I look in this thing and find myself a, a program that I use, which I'm not going to go into now, but that allows me to play with the pixels so that I can find uh, a mathematical iteration in, uh, that'll go with what I'm thinking of. Give me something that, is, that aids and abets on a, on a visual level that isn't uh, obvious, like it'd be beautiful for a forest, I suppose. But this way, I'd have to go out and film a forest here I can create abstract images that go, I think, perfectly with what I want to do. You're as active as ever, you're creating still. What is it that keeps you going? A uh, patient, beautiful wife, no stress. I, uh, I have... Uh, my ego is under control. I, I, I know there's so much to prove that I'll never be able to prove any of it. But, and I hate boredom, so by fooling around with the things that I do, I, I have so many projects I can't die. I'll be too busy. I now bequeath my stuff to each according to his need. Just watch out for old King Greed. Go call for help. It's always near. Eternal lawyers. They love to hear such reading as wills are made on. Like legal flies are glad to buzz about